Greetings and God bless you. It's great to see you for Romans 8.25 and it says, But if we hope for what we do not have yet, we wait patiently for it. We wait for it patiently. Amen. Our hope for deliverance from the presence of sin in all of its destructive results is based on the promise of God and is therefore certain as if it is as if it has already happened. Amen. As God's children, we can be sure and confident in Christ that when we wait on him, he will give us the patience and perseverance to carry on for him with our faith in him, secure and steadfast until he comes and takes us from this earth. This brings a verse to mind, uh, uh, Psalm 27, verse 14. It says, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Amen. And also um, Psalm chapter 20, 125, verse 1. Those who put their trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion. They shall not be moved, but abideth forever. Hallelujah. Waiting is not something we who live in an instant society do well. We hardly have to wait very long for anything anymore, do we? But as God's children, it is imperative for us to wait on him. And when we don't, and we find ourselves acting impulsively, um, impulsively, right, we can find ourselves in a disastrous situation. And, and one of the fruits of the Spirit that's mentioned in Galatians 5.22 is, is patience or forbearance. And this is not something that we will always feel like being, but we must choose to be. I have a hard time with being patient, to say the least. But by the grace of God, I am better than I used to be. However, not where I should be concerning this fruit. Why do you suppose that God wants us to exercise patience? Yes, he loves ripe fruit. I believe he, he asks this of us so that we slow down and see how he works things out for us for our good in our lives when we place our hope and it's centered in him. So when we wait on the Lord, we're also showing our faith in him, even when things are not going as we would prefer them to go. Amen. Does that make sense? Um, we are exhibiting trust and confidence in him for a good outcome. And, and then the unsaved around us see the example of our faith in God. And when we act impulsively, many times chaos will come to our lives and bring us upset and confusion, which is right where Satan wants us, you know? And um, so when trials come, and they most definitely will, they take heart and be strong in the Lord. Wait on him, for he always has our best interest in heart and will never leave us or forsake us, as it says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Romans chapter 8, verse 28 says, and we know that in all things, God works for those it works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and repent, then you're called, you're anointed, you become anointed with the Holy Spirit. And um, let us let us go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for the patience with me and, and for all of your perfect care in keeping me. And I love you so much, Abba, and I give you all glory, honor, and praise this day. Amen. All right, God bless you. And... Um, Thanks for joining. I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, may God bless you and protect you and your families today and your relatives, your closest, dearest of loved ones. And uh, may he change your enemies' hearts towards you. May he soften their hearts towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All right. God bless you and shalom. Thanks for joining.